This TV Mass is brought to you live by Philippine Long Distance Telephone, SME Nation. Success through technology with PLDT SME Nation. we open our hearts and our minds to our loving God as we begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with your spirit. My dear friends, uh, good morning. It's been a long time since I've seen you. Uh, thank you for inviting me again. Hindi ko alam kung bakit ako inimbitahan. Magkamukha ba ni Father Mario? My dear friends, today we celebrate this great, great feast day of the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is the culmination of His mission and the start of our mission. And so today, my dear friends, we grapple with this mystery. Ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng misteryong ito ng pag-akyat ng ating Panginoon sa langit? And also, we grapple with our own mission the mission that He leaves us behind. Today, my dear friends, we also celebrate, of course, and I think that is uppermost in your minds, uh, Happy Mother's Day. So before we start, let us give a round of applause to all our mothers. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. And now, as we continue to celebrate the Mass, we ask for God's forgiveness, for God's mercy, for many times we have failed, we have resisted, we have hesitated the mission that He has given us. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. On this great feast of the ascension of our Lord, we glorify God.
pray. Gladden us with holy joys, Almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving for the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation. And where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. For Luke, ascension marks the end of Jesus' appearance to the apostles. After he rose from the dead, before he disappears from their sight, Jesus commands them, to preach the gospel to the whole world. The apostles will be guided by the Holy Spirit. The first reading. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up. After giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles, whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to 
God, sing praise, sing praise to our King, sing praise. For King of all the earth is God, sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations, God sits upon His holy throne. Christ ascends into heaven to intercede before God on our behalf. Since we have a great intercessor in heaven, we can approach the Father with absolute trust. The second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resulting in knowledge of him may the eyes of your hearts be enlightened that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call what are the riches of his glory in his inheritance among the holy ones and what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe in accord with the exercise of his great might which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead and sitting him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us all stand to give glory and honor to the Holy Gospel. Go and teach all nations, says the Lord. I am with you always until the end of the world. Lord be with you and with your spirit. My dear friends, a reading from the conclusion of the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things, and behold, I am sending the promise of my Father upon you, but stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, raised his hands and blessed them. As he blessed them, 
he parted from them and was taken up to heaven. They did him homage and then returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and they were continually in the temple praising God. My dear friends, the gospel, the good news of our Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. On this great feast of the Ascension of the Lord, let me reflect on the readings for today and this great occasion twofold. First, by reflecting on the mystery. What does this mean? And second, what does it imply on our mission as followers of our Lord? So mystery and mission. I'm given 10 minutes to explain this great mystery. Kinukuha po namin to sa, sa seminaryo ng isang semestre. Galing ano? Okay, here goes. Mystery. Pag hindi nyo naintindihan, ano? ang paliwanag ko, sabihin na lang natin, mystery kasi. Amen? Mali. My dear friends, before, uh, I think the, uh, the key to understanding this mystery of the ascension of our Lord is in our understanding of what is heaven. The Lord ascends to heaven. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng heaven? Sige nga, tanungin natin ang mga bata. Mga bata lang ha, hindi yung mga batang isip. Can you point to us, children, where is heaven? Point. Point, please. Mga bata, nasa ng langit? Very good. Ngayon ang mga matatanda. The adults amongst us. Nasaan ang langit? Alam niyo ba kung nasaan ang langit? <laughs> My dear friends, so every time I ask that question, even adults, uh, like the children, point upwards. Heaven is up there where? Sa fifth floor? Sa bubong? Ano? Sa the sky above? Where? Uh, Milky Way? And so you can go further and further. Where is heaven? And so we clarify our understanding of heaven. Heaven, my dear friends, according to Pope Benedict XVI, it's not a place. It's not a place. It doesn't answer to the question where. It is the condition of heart where we are united fully with our Father. Heaven is union with God. And so when we say Jesus ascends to the Father, He becomes fully united with the Father. That's why in the second reading today, St. Paul tells us He is now at the right hand of the Father where He rules over all. May mga nagsasabi, ay, si Jesus, He ascended to the heaven, iniwana na tayo. No, because He is united fully to the Father, to God. Because of that, full union, He presides over us more fully. He is no longer hindered by time and space. Remember, Jesus Christ was a Jew in the first century, Palestine. Ano? But then, when He ascended to the Father, He goes beyond time and space. That's why we can say He saves even those who came af before Him and after Him because He is no longer bound by time and space, by history. He is available to us fully. So that is heaven, full participation in the life of God, union with God. Do you like that? No? Do you want that heaven to be united fully with God? That is heaven. Now, what then is the mission? We say that in the ascension, Jesus Christ culminates, His mission culminates, and our mission starts. 
Ano ba yung mission ni Jesus? Ito po, no, uh, this is a theological reflection uh, of one uh, of Father Robert Baron. He says that, and this is beautiful, pay attention, sabi niya, in the incarnation, Jesus becomes man, He brings heaven to earth. He brings a peace of heaven to earth. And then when He ascends, when He finishes His mission on earth and ascends to the Father, He brings a peace of earth to heaven, to the Father. Isn't that beautiful? In Jesus, therefore, there is a meeting of heaven and earth. of God and man. The very person of our Lord, we say, Jesus is both human and divine. There is a meeting. There is a reconciliation. Parang hindi kayo nagagandahan. Di ba ang ganda? When He is incarnated, becomes human, He brings a peace of heaven, of God to us. And when He ascends, when He goes back to the Father, He brings a piece of us, of humanity, of earth, to the Father. And therefore, there is a reconciliation between heaven and earth. And so, my dear friends, the mission of our Lord has always been to reconcile us with our Father. For heaven and earth to meet because we were separated. And thus also is our mission. That is the same mission that our Lord lives us with for us to unify heaven and earth as well. That is why, my dear friends, pay attention to our liturgy. We, our prayer, for example, what do we pray every day and especially in the Mass? Our Father. What do we say? Thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. What are we trying to say? Lord, fill this earth with your heavenly presence. Fill this earth, our lives, with your love. with your peace, with your joy, and make us instruments of that meeting of heaven and earth. No? Lagi natin dinadasal yun. Hindi naman natin lubusang nauunawaan. Thy kingdom come on earth as it is already in heaven. And in the Eucharist, our lowly bread and wine, products of our hands and our work, our worldly creation, we lift up to the Lord and they become the body and blood of our Lord. Again, there is a meeting of heaven and earth. Ganda, no? Lalim. Meron pa akong two minutes. <laughs> Ang ganda po, no? So, our mission, my dear friends, is already said in our favorite prayer, our Father. Our mission, we celebrate every time we go to Mass. Christify the world, we say. Bring heaven on earth. Suffuse it. Fill it with love, God's love. Do we see that in our world today? Sadly, no. Kulang pa. So my dear friends, the mission continues. Reconcile earth and heaven. I'd like to share just uh, for the last uh, few moments uh, about my mother. Dahil Mother's Day. And uh, our mothers, blessed are they, are great reconcilers. No? They allow families to meet 
meeting of heaven and earth. Amen? Diba? Many of our party celebrations are are celebrated around our mothers. Correct? Diba? Because the, uh, it is our mother who cooks, etc., etc. So let, just me, uh, let me just share my uh, mother's... Uh, well, one time, she was able to reconcile us. You see, my dear friends, my, my eldest brother uh, became a convert of another religion. Oh, diba? Lungkota, no? And my parents uh, are devout Catholics, ano? Uh, Catholico Serrado all their lives. And so, when that happened, when my brother, eldest pa naman, ano? Paborito, uh, went over the bakod, it broke their hearts, especially my mom. No? And so at the wedding, and the wedding was, uh, took place not in, a, in our church, Catholic church, but in an auditorium. That's how they, that's where they celebrate their uh, liturgies, if you can call uh, them that. And uh, hanggang ngayon po, we point out to our mother, Ma, tingnan mo, oh, yung mga pictures from the wedding. Imbes na pictures of joy. Usually weddings are joyful, happy. Yung mother ko tsaka yung father ko, nakasimangot. No? Kasimangot. And yet, after a while, my mother started warming up. Because she realizes that she is mother. That her love for her son goes beyond, transcends even the state of his son, even his newfound religion. The mother will continue loving her children no matter what. There is no force in the world that will stop a mother from loving her children. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yan po ang pagmamahal ng nanay. And so, she reconciled with my brother and she reconciled all of us. Epilogue. My brother passed away at a very early age, but the family is still with us, even if they belong to a different religion. Reconcile heaven and earth. That is our mission. Just as our Lord, when He ascends to the Father, reconciled God and man. And so, my dear friends, we pray for one another that we may be courageous in our performance of the mission that the Lord has given us. Stay on earth. The Lord tells us, but suffuse, fill the earth with heaven, with God's life, with God's love, with God's peace, with God's joy. Transfigure, transform our earth. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Together we profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from there he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My dear friends, we offer to God our prayers, our intentions. For every petition or prayer is, Lord, draw us close to you. Lord, draw us close to you. That the Holy Father Francis, bishops, priests, 
religious and lay leaders may be fired by the Holy Spirit, whom the Father sends in Jesus' name, and may boldly proclaim the gospel to all nations, races, and cultures, we pray. Lord, draw us close to you. That the Holy Spirit, whom the Father sends in Jesus' name, may help our religious and political leaders to be wise and simple in the exercise of authority and leadership, we pray. Lord, draw us close to you. That communication professionals, parents, and educators may use wisdom and discernment in the use of the media, for their decisions greatly affect children and young people, we pray. Lord, draw us close to you. That there may be more practical initiatives aimed at eliminating the risks to the well-being of the children posed by the media. And may children always find in the media a source of support, encouragement, and inspiration we pray. Lord, draw us close to you. May all engaged in the media recognize that they are truly stewards and administrators of an immense spiritual power that belongs to the patrimony of humanity and is meant to enrich the human community. We pray. Lord, draw us close to you. My dear friends, let us pray for one another that we may indeed become instruments of reconciliation in our families, our homes, our communities, in our country, in this world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, draw us close to you. We pray for the elections tomorrow, that it may be, be peaceful and honest, that it may bring not our kingdoms, but the kingdom of God on earth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, draw us close to you. In the silence of your hearts, please offer to God your own personal intentions. For all our needs, we pray to the Lord. Lord, draw us close to you. God our Father, we your children rejoice in the ascension of your Son. Fill us with hope in this life. May we be your faithful witnesses now until the time we join you in heaven forever and ever. Amen.
pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Let us pray. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly estate, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My dear friends, the mystery of our faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Luis, our Cardinal, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. May you welcome them into the light of your face. We now pause to remember and pray for our dearly departed. Have mercy on them, Lord, and have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever. And now, my dear friends, we ascend to the heavens by praying the prayer given to us by our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. My dear friends, we offer one another Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Friends, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, Jesus, who ascends to the Father to reconcile heaven and earth. Happy are we called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of our Lord bring us everlasting life. Amen. For those of you who are unable to join us in this Holy Mass, and for those watching in television, we invite you to pray with us this prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me, Lord, to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant we pray that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. There will be a very short audio presentation, visual presentation, uh, featuring our Cardinal and his appeal for help. Uh, we are erecting a chapel in Tondo, I think, and so this is bringing heaven on earth. So let us uh, watch. Archbishop uh, Luis Antonio Chito Tagle of the Archdiocese of Manila. And I am uh, speaking to you, dear friends and people of goodwill, on behalf of one of our parishes in the Archdiocese, the San Pablo Apostol Parish in Tondo, Manila, which is under the administration of the Canosian Fathers and Brothers. You know, this community, this parish community, uh, is one of the poorest communities in the Archdiocese. But they are well-meaning, the faith is vibrant, the young people find a home in the church, our families want to bring their children closer to the church. And this parish has a lot of formation programs, but they need also a new church that can uh, hold the community and could lead them to proper worship. This community is engaging in so many creative ways of uh, raising some money to finish the construction of the new church. I am appealing to you, please be generous to them. Your help to them is also a help for the future of our poor people, especially of the youth. So when the Kadoshan brothers, fathers, and their collaborators and some parishioners approach you, and when I approach you, please open your hearts and your hands to help us. Thank you very much. And may the prayers of St. Paul the Apostle intercede for you and for your loved ones. Dear brothers and sisters, we are passing for us for second collection. And now, my dear friends, uh, please remain seated. We have uh, honored our mothers today. It's Mother's Day. Uh, in behalf of uh, the SM uh, organization, we would like to honor also one very special mother. Uh, napakamatalungin po, especially sa ating simbahan. He has uh, sent to the seminary so many young men. And so, my dear friends, please join us in uh, greeting Happy Mother's Day, Mrs. Felicidad C.
Happy Mother's Day. And finally, let's uh, just spend a few moments to offer to God ourselves and pray for healing. We, on this day, especially ask the Lord to heal our mothers from uh, yeah, physical pain, from emotional pain, and from spiritual pain. Lord, please take care of our mothers. We love them so much. Please give them strength. Please give them courage. Please give them peace and joy for the rest of their lives. Amen. Finally, an announcement. Please join us here at the Chapel of the Eucharistic Lord. Every Wednesday, there is a uh, religious education session every Wednesday here from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. And on Wednesday, the topic is faith. What does it mean to believe? Please join us here as we continue these special events in celebration of the Year of Faith. Please rise. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, the Mass is ended. Be instruments of God's reconciliation. Thanks be to God.